Alright guys, how's everybody doing? Redstorm's Assassin here with another Minecraft video for you guys. So hopefully most of you guys have been doing well, been, been doing pretty well myself. Uh, sorry that I haven't uploaded in a little while again. It's been about two months since my previous upload, but I've been super busy. And in fact, I just finished my last few finals today for school. Um, so that's really nice to have that out of the way. Uh, I've been also doing a bunch of shows and stuff recently. I'm doing a bunch of tricking. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I'll probably put a link or in the description or something on the screen so you can check out my other channel where I do a couple of things like that. But um, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into our trap. So let's go check it out. So this is um, a little bit of a room I built. You can ignore this stuff. I was playing around with anvils and other stuff because anvils can hurt you if they fall on your head and that's pretty cool. I was trying to make something out of that but it wasn't working at the moment. Also, I wanted to say something about these. Um, these are actually uh, wooden pressure plates on fences to look like tables on top of pistons and eventually I'll probably make some type of trap out of that and that would be, be pretty cool. But anyway, let's focus on what we have here. So this is a fake entrance for a waterfall, obviously someone trying to put a entrance, an entrance behind it. Um, but it's quite obvious so somebody's going to come venturing along in here. <clears throat> and actually it turns out water currents are actually pretty strong once they updated it a while back. So they, they're pretty hard to move again. So it's this, this is going to push you along, and what you're going to run into is a... Ow, okay, I didn't want to do that. A tripwire. So if you can't see already, there is actually a tripwire going across here, floating across a slab. Now on the other side, we have a fake room, which you can't actually enter because of the slab here. So when it pushes you off, you can't go in there. Um, actually, let me just show you the trap. That way you can kind of see how it works. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to pretend I'm some normal person. I'd walk in and it pushes you right into the lava, so I fall into the lava, but I'm in creative mode right now so I can't take damage, which is kind of nice. So when you're going along and you actually hit the um, tripwire, my bad, what's going to happen is these three, uh, or are these, these three pistons are going to come out of the sky, um, out of the ceiling that is, and it's going to suffocate the player, uh, but since they're in the back, it's going to push the player towards the nearest opening for air, and that would be directly above the lava. So it's kind of using um, the built-in game code in order to take advantage of that in order to actually create a trap, which is kind of cool. Um, so when I step on here, as you can see, it pushes me off and it suffocates me at the same time and then I'll eventually fall in there. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to break these blocks here and play that. See, so we've got three pistons just like so. Cover that back up. And so when I step on top, you can see these three things will push down here and then this third one, since I can't actually move back into there because this block is blocking it off, the only way I can go is down into the hole. So if this was here, it would push me into the hole. Let me put that back. There we go. And actually, this trap is extremely, extremely simple. Also, you can put a gravity trap down here if you want to in order to collect the items, but I just decided to use lava because that's a little bit easier to understand in a video. So let me break this slab here and we're going to go check out some of the redstone. So what actually uh, we have here is a tripwire on this side and on the other side we also have a tripwire but the other tripwire is not doing anything right now. So this is the only one that really matters. If I hop in here, as you can see it activates the trap in here. And all it does is it connects to um, some redstone on the back which links around and simply enough goes into three pistons um, with diodes at the first tick. and that's about it for all the redstone. This trap was extremely simple. I wanted to create something that was pretty easy to make on your own without having to have a lot of materials and it could reset on its own. So that is um, pretty much the gist of the trap. If you still wanted a tutorial for it, I'm not sure if you would need one for this, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And I'm um, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while again. Let me cover that up. Uh, oh, also, I'll tell you why that's right there. That's right there in order to um, kind of act like, see you can't really see there's a hole there, so it looks like you can just walk through. Um, but you can't because, ow, oh, ow, oh, that's not very nice. Okay, because there's a slab on top, but if I didn't put the slab there, they still might be able to fall into the room and be safe after they're pushed off of here. So that's why the slab is there. And um, that is pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, well, um, I hopefully will be able to upload a new video pretty soon. I'm going to do some more tutorials, some more redstone things, and um, in the upcoming update in 1.5, it's actually, I can't see anymore, it's actually a 
4.6 right now, I believe, but in 1.5, they're actually making some major updates to Redstone. So I'm going to have to see what that's all about and uh, figure out how that works out, and then I'll be able to show you guys. So thanks for sticking with me, guys, and still giving me all the support, even though I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, so, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a thumbs up on the video. That'd help me out a lot. And uh, also, if you aren't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe to my channel for new videos and new traps and redstone tutorials. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.